Welcome back everybody. So I've got the 27 Lincoln Gangbusters body painted and the fenders as well as the hood, the rumble seat, the side compartment and some and other parts. Um, uh, the paint isn't exactly the color I, I would was expecting it to be but I think it's still going to be a great combination. It looks kind of pink here, but it's not. And once I get the um, accents, like the um, the seats, where did the seat go? I painted the seat last night. I don't know where it's at. Anyway, it's, oh, it's up here. So the seat is. Uh, I think once I get everything um, in it, as well as the spare tires, I've got to paint them. I, not quite sure what color I'm going to paint those. I'm also going to paint the um, got a bunch of shish kebabs here. Got a, I'm going to paint the the the, uh, the spokes. I'm not going to leave them uh, chrome. I did a lot of flash trimming on them anyway. But this thing is going to end up looking really nice. I, again, I don't know what color to paint the spokes. Sometimes you'll get a total. Uh, like if you look at pictures of these old cars, you'll see this, like you may see red spokes or something like that. So I've got to do some kind of a little bit of research to see maybe what color to paint the spokes, but it's coming along the hood. I got it painted. They still fold. Um, they didn't stick together. So that's good. The MCW paint has a great shine to it. Um, with the hardener, it's as hard as a rock. So I encourage you to go check out that MCW paint along with the hardener. But I'm going to get started trying to, again, I got some other parts to paint. Figure out the wheels. Got some uh, touch up painting now or some uh, painting to do on the engine. Um, but yes, yeah, it's going to come along nice. It's going to be a really classy looking car when I'm done with it, I believe. And um, yeah, I. Uh, Appreciate you guys coming along and checking this out. And if you hadn't subscribed already, go hit that subscription button. And uh, yeah, this is going to be good. So let me get busy and some more paint sprayed. And we will be back in just a flash. Stand by. All right, so I got a little progress done. The engine's looking good. I got the uh, cylinder heads painted on it. It's a flathead engine, so it's got the flat cylinder heads. It's got the rail that is the uh, distributor or the uh, spark plug wires go in it. I forget what someone said it was called, but got that uh, got that on there. It's not in chassis. I did paint the oil pan the same color as the heads. I don't know if it, that's probably not correct, but it looked good. Um, painted the spares brown. It's a very weird color combination to begin with, so I can't really mess it up, I don't think. It does have the leather colored seats. Um, the I've got the interior panels detailed. I got a little bit of detailing on the floor pan. On the little side uh, engine doors, I've got the uh, latches um, detailed. What else? Oh, the, the rims. So I sprayed these with the chrome on them. Bad mistake. I primed the chrome and then I uh, sprayed them. It, it just, it, I don't know, didn't do right. I just soaked them in purple power. There's those and then there's the, the other halves that are right here. Yeah, uh, so if you're thinking, what the heck is he painting on burgundy or maroon? Um, yeah, it does seem like a weird color combination. However, I've seen pictures of these guys with this a lighter color and it had a maroon burgundy-ish style wheel and it looks good. I didn't want to do the chrome. So we'll see. I just painted those. I decanted some... What's this? Claret, Claret, Claret. Claret wine. I think that's supposed to be French. Am I spelled, saying that right? Claret. Anyway, it's a satin finish uh, Rust-Oleum paint. I just sprayed it into a cup. Just I have some uh, cups. I mix my silicone 
for the molds in I just sprayed it in there until I got enough to fill my little uh, siphon feed cup and uh, yep, sprayed them right down work great with the airbrush but anyway that's my progress so far so where next segment where should I be uh, engine will be so the the chassis should be mounted to the frame or yeah well the chassis is the frame so the chassis should be mounted to the by the way that paint just turned out great mcw paint all the way i should have the chassis under the fenders and the engine mounted radiator in place got all that stuff painted for the most part everything's painted um, just got to get it together um, get the wheels put together they're in the bag right there but yeah, this is uh, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be very cool. Thanks, to George Woods, again for sending me this kit. And uh, yep, give me a sec, and I'll be right back. We'll have some more done to it. Stand by. A little bit more progress here. Did get the wheels uh, mounted, and they look wonderful. I think they're gonna look great. Even though they're burgundy or maroon. I've never understood. What's the difference in burgundy and maroon? Aren't they almost the same? I have the um, interior. Well, not the seat. The seat's right here. But the uh, the interior portion or the top half of the body mounted. This thing looks great. I mean, I think it looks absolutely wonderful. Um, I've had a few people say, not. Sh I don't know about the color. I was... <sighs> me too but i think it's going to work well when i get the uh, i got to paint the the belts on the spare tires here but i think once i get the the brown and these this wheel color i think is going to just be great um i think it's going to think it's going to be really nice don't think i'll be disappointed once i get it all together i've been trying to fit the little hoods they're uh, pretty tricky I do have them all painted and this paint just turned out so great um, but the because I use the hardener in the paint the paint gets you know obviously it chemically hardens and then you can have little mechanical pieces like this that fold the paint doesn't stay gooey and it doesn't stick so I can have the the, the side panels uh, still operate you know how you'll paint um, with spray cans a lot of times it doesn't seem to ever completely cure and you're if you have opening doors or something like that they'll stick but when you use the hardener in the MCW paint in this enamel it hardens the paint like a hard shell so it doesn't do that but anyway I do have the back rumble seat in and this little door right here opens um, but I'm just going to try and finish this up so I've got to put the seat in mount the radiator which is right here and the, um, get the hood the uh, two sides of the hoods and all the little chrome bits headlights and things like that um, but I'm getting there so maybe one more segment and uh, we'll be seeing a completed model and this thing it's been a lot of fun but this is not one for the faint of heart Heather was looking at it and um, because it has all the little figures which i have not painted i've not done anything with the figures but she's like oh i like that i i sh you should have let me build that one and i thought there's no way this thing was had it was very very tricky it was not a beginner's model kit it was you know it's i don't know because of its age because it was made back in 65 or 66 i can't remember um if it was i don't know what makes them a little tougher it's not because it's NPC. The quality is great. I mean, look at this thing. It's It really is. It's great quality. That, that engine's neat. But it, it was very. It was a difficult kit. Um, not going to lie. But, hey, that's what makes you better, right? All right, so let me get some more stuff on here, and we'll catch you in just a second. Stand by. Okay. So, I didn't realize that the headlight bar was not chrome so I've got to paint that so that's got to be painted black that goes well, it goes around that way also didn't realize that I had pretty well had to build the luggage rack I think maybe I don't 
but it seems like there's going to be the way the bumper shaped it's like got this big swoop in it so if you don't have the luggage rack it may look funny i didn't want to do the luggage rack i wanted to just do it classic just a classic car without the luggage but i may have to don't know 100 percent yet um got the uh spares put together i think this color wheel is going to look awesome so there is the um spares one for each side here's the what the wheels are going to look like just too cool um i am waiting till the end to put these wheels and tires on because it seems a little fragile and if i had already had them on there i'm sure i would have broken them off and not to mention the front steering is steerable so it you know it makes it even weaker got the hood on i watched charlie mack um oh he did this car a while back and uh he had i think he, he may have had problems with the hood the hood fits good there's no problem with the fitting of the hood however when you get the chrome piece this isn't glued in place but when you get the chrome piece that goes over it that actually holds the two halves in place it doesn't and i don't know how far although the hood does open they will open let me show you without take making the chrome come off one-handed so you can get it to open ah oh, shoot come on but it doesn't like fold i mean you can open it like that you can get in there and see the whole engine but as far as getting it to be posed like i don't think i don't know i thought that they should have opened up farther but maybe not maybe it wouldn't have anyway it's pretty cool I, i've never done one with the double double uh lifting hood and they both lift and, and work just great so it's pretty neat got the seat just sitting there it's not glued in um man this is just I, I love it i think it's the neatest um neatest car just a neat uh something you don't see very often a, a lincoln an old lincoln like this i mean you see tons of model a's model t's you know things like that but you don't you don't see a lot of these so thought that was really cool um underside here it's looking really nice so this will be the last oh the windshield is in the incubator i've got the uh, mod podge on it getting it all um glued together the headlights are are oh, they right here they're sitting i've got mod podge on those but they have to be mounted to the uh bracket that is got to be painted so i'm going to paint that um the i have to still install the uh convertible boot thing right there and it's got where the heck does it go well i thought it went right i think it goes right there anyway and it's got two little these little uh, chrome be like the frame the folded frame but other than that it's looking good last segment again when i come back this thing's gonna be on the little turntable we'll be talking about it so sit tight well you don't have to sit tight at all because it's actually going to be uh, almost an instant as soon as i say stand by all right guys so hey look here on the last page of these instructions which you know these instructions are from this kit from 1965 or six i don't remember what i said was it 65 or 66 but nevertheless it's an a, an old kit really cool instructions i really enjoyed going through this but on the back here it had these uh swinging models and um yeah check it out like uh, stroker's tall t uh a dollar uh here's stroker's mcgurk mcgurk um hot rodders buddy anyway a dollar these kits i've seen these remade um kind of a weird kind of, they're kind of weird 
Um, but anyway, because of like the faces and stuff, anyway, one dollar. And on the back of this, it's got some of the new releases from MPC. And uh, I guess maybe it is 1965 because this Corvette is a 65. Came with a parachute. The car kit that's loaded with extras and open six inch ribbon drag chute and independent front suspension <laughs> independent suspension that really works actual coil springs um that's really cool does anybody have that kit have you seen it that's interesting then it also had the lincoln 28 lincoln touring 32 chrysler imperial and these were the gangbusters as well um had a slot car here world's fastest slot racer and then this 29 Woody. And I'm pretty sure they still make this kit. The Woody kit. Pretty sure. But anyway, I know you guys are here to see the see the Gangbusters 27 Lincoln <coughs> Lincoln Roadster Roadster. That's not the Gangbusters. I built this well, it's it's like this. It's not all shot up. Uh, I didn't didn't put any of the characters together, but I still could do that. But anyway. All right, here we go. Thing turned out great. Um, I couldn't be more happy. And uh, thanks, George Woods, for sending this to me. Oh, what a cool kit. Some of the hardest... <laughs> some of the tough kits make you better at what you do. You know what I mean? This is one of them. It's had some tough little things. Uh, Charlie Mack, if you're watching this, you built this kit. You know what I'm talking about. But anyways... You ready? It's cool. It's really cool. All right, there it is. How classy. Put this box over here. How classy is that? I think the colors work. So what do you think? The uh, windshield too, by the way, that little burnt area, you barely can see it at the top. So that worked out good. Whoever shook the box last and got those tires settling down did a good job. But look at this. Isn't that nice? So classy. Would you drive that? I sure would. But it's got the little... Um, I wasn't going to build the uh, luggage rack, but it kind of looked funny, the back bumper, because it was made for like a, to have a luggage rack. So I decided to go ahead and build it, put the box on there. No problem. Just makes it a little longer. So in the display case, it takes up more room. Um, just want to do your full full go around the the wheels. I think the color of the wheels just turned out excellent. I don't think it was a mistake. I think it was. I think it was great. Oh, I got my little um, my friend Kissy Boy Clifton Smith sent me these little custom uh, in, model, model car videos. One I didn't. I couldn't find a. I didn't want to use the license plates that came with it. They were more specific to the police car. You could build it as a police car. Um, but I wanted something kind of unique, <laughs> excuse me. So I had the, he, he sent me these little, uh, model car videos. Number one, uh, he sent me a lot of them. They're not actual decals. You have to glue them on, but anyway, really cool. So the interior just turned out wonderful. The, the, the color of the seat, uh, the texture of that seat looks so much like actual leather. Um, I'm going to take the box off the back because it will just fall off if not. I painted the buckles and the belts and everything. So it just sits there. This is supposed to be made to fold up, but if you could do that, you could make that work. You're, you're, you're a better man than I am as far as model building. Oh my. There. Um, I'm also going to pull the spares off. The spares are, uh, they just sit on there. I'm not going to glue them in place because they kind of hinder your view of how the hood opens so does the hood open oh yeah it does does it stay open not really so they open right up and i might can kind of wedge it to get it to stay but anyway you can see the engine like that or you can just kind of watch me break it right here on camera lift it up and see inside there that big v8 um lincoln power the other side also lifts up just as well um oh it has has this uh this top that just sits here 
I don't know if you, you were supposed to drive it around without that on there. I think it actually looks better without it, but uh, it's got these little chrome bars that this actually sits on top of. And there's not a real distinct area where you're supposed to put this, but by looking at their box picture, that's about where it's supposed to sit. I don't know. I'll take it off too if I turn it over and I just fall off anyway. Take off the other spare. This little door here on the side does open and I will... Don't look everybody. I'm fixing to take an X-Acto knife to try and open this up. Oh, almost. Oh. Nope. There it is. So it opens up. The hinge is a little wonky. That's okay. If you had to throw your stash in there, just get it in. But it does close nicely, and uh, and it stays closed, so that's good. The rumble seat gave me some trouble, but it does um, does open. It gets to a tight place, and then I have to. Oh, sorry. I'm watching. I'm looking at it myself. So it comes open here, and you have to kind of force it to probably pop off or something. Uh. There we go. So there's your rumble seat. Nice. And has any of you guys ever ridden in a rumble seat car? What's that like? So there's that. The underside is just clean. It's not weathered or anything. I'm waiting on something else to fall off. So it's just the engines painted. The bottom of the engines painted the same color as the heads. Um, the body color you can see through there. The, uh, Big, huge transfer truck rear differential they had on it. Oh, the front wheels do steer. They they would have steered with the uh, steering wheel. Could not get that part to work. So they just are posable steering. So we can steer the wheels. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, this thing was so much fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. Again, thank you, George, for sending this. Thanks, Sean, for going over and making that video at his house and you guys thinking of me and uh, sending it my way I greatly appreciate it. okay so these are the handles for the guys these are the oh you know what handles that cars have I guess so when they start hitting the, the big bumps they have to hold on tight but I do thank you guys for sending me this kit and I thank you guys for let me put this tire on I have to line these up thank you guys for watching this video and my little series of built <coughs> excuse me of building this car um i personally feel like and i said this at the beginning of this segment that tougher models make you better builders and i think that's the truth if i made it through that 48 ford imc i think i can make it through about anything but this turned out great um the MCW paint that was that was a they're both a custom color they they both started life as the what is it um well I don't see it now what was the springtime yellow that's what it was springtime yellow it was the color that the 48 Ford is painted but I added some tint did two different colors I, I toned down the yellow made it more of a cream and then I added some brown to make that two-tone. And again, I was trying to replicate a, a paint uh, scheme that I'd seen um, on the internet. Uh, but I think it turned out just great. I can't wait to uh, maybe take it to a show or something like that. But the paint turned out wonderful. The MCW paint with the hardener. You just can't beat this stuff. It's just great. So with that said, I'm going to... I obviously have a, a slideshow of pictures so I'm going to go ahead and end this but I do thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for your you guys who have, subs have subscribed and if you haven't subscribed go hit the subscription button like the video and uh, give me a comment have you built this gangbusters kit was it something that uh, you started on and quit was it something that you you glue bombed as a kid do you remember it because it is an old kit 1965 so thank you george thank you sean thanks for all you viewers that are out there watching this and your support of my channel you're greatly appreciated um if you hadn't already gone to the facebook group guys go check that out model car videos facebook group linked in the description below go join there show me some pictures of your gangbuster 27 uh 
Lincoln um, Roadster. Also, go check out Hobby Nut Models, where the paint on this beautiful car came from. Go check out his line of MCW paints. You would not be disappointed, trust me. And also, go to the Teespring store. Grab yourself a t-shirt, a coffee mug, a sticker, something like that. And if you're not a member of the Patreon group, I, I encourage you to join. We had a great live stream just recently. Um, all of us were on there together just talking and shooting the breeze about model cars, and we had a great time. So go over there, check all those things out linked in the linked in the description below. And just after I get done speaking, you're going to see a slideshow of the Lincoln. And again, guys, thank you so much for all you do. All right. Until next time, the gangbusters. 27 Lincoln's finished. See you guys. Bye.